For a few decades now, airline alliances have played a huge part in the aviation industry. Airlines see then benefits with the expanded network and connectivity with other airlines around the world. This is something one airline, Oman Air, is eyeing as it seeks membership to the One World Airline Alliance. In a recent report by Reuters, it has been revealed that the National Airline of the Sultanate of Oman is seeking membership to the third biggest airline alliance in the world. By seeking in a membership to the One World Alliance, it has revealed it understands the role of the airline alliances and how it will play a role in the recovery for the airline and the industry. In the report, a spokesperson for Oman Air said in an email statement, quote, As the industry recovers from COVID, airline alliances are going to be more important than ever. The airline statement also said, quote, This will provide us with excellent global connectivity, a seamless travel experience, and more valuable loyalty offerings for our guests. As a sixth membership to the One World Alliance, Oman Air has reportedly sought the help of another Gulf airline, Qatar Airways, whose chief executive, Akbar al-Bakar, is the current governing board chair of the One World Alliance. If its bid and attempt to join the One World Alliance is successful, it would become the alliance's 15th member airline and the second Gulf carrier in the group. It would be a major milestone for Oman Air, which was founded in 1993 and currently based in Muscat, Oman. At present, the national carrier of the Sultanate of Oman is operating flights to 30 destinations with a fleet of 50 aircraft, with destinations in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and Asia. A potential membership with One World would expand its network to other areas through co-chair agreements and flights, beyond Asia, the Middle East, and Europe to areas such as North America, Australia, and Northern Asia. From the point of view of the One World Alliance, it does fit the views of al Bakr as he looks to take the vision of One World and applying it to become the top airline alliance around the world. However, entering an airline alliance is not always easy as there has not been much additions within the last few years and plus there is politics within the group. Perfect examples of just how things may not always be harmonious between the airlines and the alliances include the departure of the Southern Sky Team in 2019, while One World took a major hit in South America with the exit of LATAM. Yet it's also the One World Alliance which has introduced two new airlines in recent years, first being Royal Air Maroc and Alaska Airlines. And being the smallest of the three major airline alliances, there is a possibility that Oman Air could be added to the group. At the end of the day, a new member airline must prove its worth and value to the other alliance members. Some of the airlines may question the need of having another Middle Eastern-based airline as Qatar Airways is one of the more prominent members of the alliance. In the case of Oman Air, there could be some redundancies and similar routes that are operated by Qatar Airways that covers areas such as Africa, India, and Eastern Europe. While it would be an added addition, One World may be better served seeking airlines in other parts of the world where it is lagging such as in South America, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Europe. Another issue in joining an airline alliance for Oman Air would be the cost and obligation for membership in the airline alliance. To address this, there could be an alternative to full membership and that is through One World Connect, which does provide select benefits such as co-chair flights and frequent flyer benefits. That said, despite the challenges and obstacles it could face, Oman Air seems to be, based on the article, is focused on obtaining the full membership into the alliance. What are your thoughts on the prospects of Oman Air in joining One World? I'd definitely love to hear your comments, so feel free to leave them in the comments section below. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thank you for watching and have a great day.